After Little People Big World's Matt Roloff split from his wife Amy, Matt began dating Karen Chandler, and they've been together ever since. Karen has since become an integral part of the show, and she's more than just someone's girlfriend. Here's the truth about the star. Karen Chandler was involved with the Roloff family long before she became patriarch Matt Roloff's girlfriend. As viewers know, Karen was a longtime employee on the family farm who ended up working as Matt's assistant. Matt has even discussed on the show how important Karen's role was on the farm, saying that she was, quote, instrumental in running pumpkin season, which is a major annual event. Yet in 2018, Karen announced on her Instagram that she'd stepped away from the gig, writing, Today was the first day of pumpkin season. Even though I'm not working at the farm this year, I'm still greatly invested. Love the place. While it's unclear why Karen left her job on the farm, fans speculated that it had to do with Matt's ex-wife Amy Roloff. It was evident that she was uncomfortable with Karen, and even dished on the series, Karen is an employee and is in a personal relationship with my ex-husband. I'd rather just minimize the personal interaction. It's not healthy for me. It is an awkward situation. Like Matt Roloff, Karen Chandler, too, was once married and had some divorce drama of her own. Karen was married to her ex, Joseph Chandler, for 20 years. Karen and Joseph share two children, Brittany and Connor Chandler. For years, the two were noticeably absent from Little People Big World, and that wasn't an accident. Rather, it was directly linked to Karen and Joseph's divorce agreement. Neither party would allow the children to be filmed for television without the consent of the other. Once they were legal adults, however, Brittany and Connor were free to go on the show whenever they wanted. Karen Chandler may have a big role in the Roloff family these days, but the reality star has a family of her own. While Brittany and Connor Chandler don't really go on the show much, it seems that they do have a relationship with the Roloffs. Brittany, for example, commented on Tori Roloff's 2020 Instagram post about daughter Lila's dwarfism. She wrote, Oh, Tori, I'll be lucky to be half the mama that you are one day, real and honest. I love you guys and those kiddos so dang much. Though they appear to be in a solid place now, Connor and Karen's relationship has hit some major bumps in the road. According to the U.S. Sun, in January 2020, Connor was arrested for allegedly harassing his own mother. Connor was ordered to stay away from Karen at the time and was arrested again later that year when he failed to appear in court on the charges. Connor was also arrested in the past for theft and struggled with drug addiction. He opened up on his Facebook, saying addiction almost took his life before he achieved sobriety. However, it seems that Karen and Connor have since reconciled, as she posted photos of his new baby in September. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website. While Matt Roloff hasn't put a ring on Karen Chandler's finger yet, the two are pretty serious. So much so that, as The Sun recounted, they moved into a home they purchased in 2018 that used to be Karen's parents' former house, all the way in Karen's native Arizona. The two not only use it as a frequent escape from the cold Oregon winters, but appear to have also posted up there together to quarantine during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Matt shared in a May 2020 Instagram post, making a break for Arizona where things are a bit calmer. Yet just because the two have taken the step to live together in the Grand Canyon state doesn't mean they're ready for marriage. Matt revealed in an August 2021 episode of Little People, Big World, our grand plan right now is to stay committed, stay in love, go to Arizona, and spend a tremendous amount of time together. So I think we've got the best of all worlds happening right now. As for whether a 2022 wedding is in store, Karen dished, he hasn't asked me, so we're definitely not yet. It appears that fans are on Matt's case about it. As The Sun reported, when a fan told him to marry Karen in the comment section of an Instagram post about Karen's birthday, he replied, Maybe I will. You'll have to wait and see. While some fans may be rooting for Matt and Karen to tie the knot, others have been throwing shade at their relationship since day one, accusing Karen of being the reason why Matt and Amy Roloff's 27-year-long marriage ended. 
Amy has even suggested that Matt had cheated on her with Karen while they were still married. In a 2019 Facebook Live, Amy told fans, We had someone that worked for us for a very long time on our farm, and I believe that there was more than just friends going on. She even went as far as to add, I think that evolved to a point where that got in the way of our marriage. Amy also alluded to untoward behavior in her autobiography, A Little Me, writing, Matt and our farm manager seem to have more than just a working relationship or friendship. I saw messages, pictures, and other things that should not have been shared between people who just worked together and were still married to other people. Neither Matt nor Karen has admitted to an affair. Due to their complicated past, it makes sense that Karen Chandler and Matt Roloff were not asked to attend his ex Amy's wedding to Chris Merritt. Amy revealed on their show, Chris and I debated whether to invite Matt and Karen to the wedding, but we decided against it. I think it causes less drama, and I think that's better for everyone. I don't see Matt and Karen, or at least from my perspective, us being friends. Despite Chris's good relationship with Matt, and the fact that Matt had lent them his farm for their wedding, Chris felt that inviting Matt and Karen would be awkward. Matt agreed, explaining, We had a conversation, and he goes, Are you going to be offended if we don't invite you to the wedding? I said, absolutely not. Let's just take it off the table. Make it simple. Amy also told fans in an Instagram Live that Matt and Karen wouldn't be invited. Nowhere near that kind of relationship that I would want my ex at my wedding. While Amy still seems to have issues with Karen, her children have taken to her as their father's girlfriend. Zach Roloff even once said, I'm not going to sit there all bitter and pissed off that him and my mom didn't work out. Karen and my dad seem really happy together. And no matter what, I want to see both of my parents happy. Reality stars Karen Chandler and Matt Roloff may share an abode in Arizona, but when the stars are in Oregon, they don't live together. As the father of four explained on the TLC series, when we're here in Portland, we'll live individually and see each other a lot. In fact, the U.S. Sun reports that Karen purchased a new home in November 2020. But Matt is helping her fix up her new place. He even said on Instagram that he wanted to help her build a bigger deck. <laughs> I walked in, I toured it, I knew, I made the offer, and we were done. Some fans believe that Karen's new home isn't good for the couple. Not only is it a two-story home, which makes it hard for Matt to get up and down the stairs, but as they explained on the show, it's also led to the two spending most nights sleeping apart. On the flip side, Karen isn't exactly interested in calling the house Matt once shared with Amy home. As she confessed on the show, I would never live in the big house, ever. Put a pin in that. She also admitted that the new farmhouse that Matt plans to build isn't necessarily for her. She explained, I've always loved the farm, but it's Matt's farm. It's Amy's farm. And so I kind of want to let all that stuff fall where it needs to be on its own. While Karen Chandler has definitely had a role in the lives of Matt's grandchildren, the star has officially become a grandmother herself. In 2021, Karen's son Connor Chandler welcomed a son with his girlfriend, Ashley. Karen made the announcement on her Instagram by sharing a photo of the baby, writing, I'm a grandma! Sweet baby Liam Joseph Chandler arrived Sunday, August 22nd, two weeks early. A bouncing 6 pounds 12 ounces of pure joy. She posted another photo holding the baby, where she wrote, A huge heartfelt thank you for all your beautiful and thoughtful congrats grandma messages. It's everything you all said. My heart is full. Though she spends a lot of time with Matt's grandchildren, she evidently has made a point to respect boundaries. For example, when someone commented on Instagram that she was a great grandma to Matt's grandchildren, she replied that she doesn't refer to herself as the Roloff kid's grandma, presumably not to offend their actual grandmother, Amy Roloff. Despite what term she uses, Karen seems happy to frequently post the Roloff grandchildren on her Instagram. It appears that she and Matt often take the little ones on fun adventures like to the zoo and, of course, Disneyland. Karen Chandler may have been called a gold digger by Amy Roloff fans, but according to reports, the TLC star has quite the impressive net worth on her own. According to The Sun, Karen reportedly has a net worth of $4.5 million, separate from her boyfriend Matt Roloff, whose celebrity net worth estimates to be worth $6 million. While Karen hasn't worked at the Roloff farm since 2018, it could be assumed she made a pretty good paycheck there over the years. Since the Roloff farm probably gained popularity from Little People Big World, the farm is seemingly lucrative, especially during pumpkin season, which is usually filled with visitors, with tours going for $300 a pop. 
The mother of two also makes money from appearing on the long-running and popular TLC show. In 2021, the Cinemaholic estimated the roll-offs bring in between $35,000 to $55,000 per episode, so it's safe to assume that Karen's salary is somewhere near or in that range. It appears that Karen not only spends her money on trips to Arizona with Matt, but also on real estate. That Oregon house she bought in 2020? Well, according to The Sun, she apparently dropped $405,000 for the pad. So with her own home and own fat bank account, it doesn't seem like Karen is using Matt for his money, although his family's show didn't hurt either. Karen Chandler may have begun as just an ordinary woman working on a cool pumpkin farm, but these days she's a reality star thanks to her role on Little People Big World. She also happens to be a loyal viewer. As Karen told TV shows Ace, Yes, I try to watch the show because I never know how the scenes will be edited in the end. Yet even though the Arizona native is an established TV personality, she added, I don't think I'm a celebrity at all, just being myself. And it appears that while she does enjoy other reality shows like Survivor, Naked and Afraid, and Long Island Medium, she's all about the crime genre. While Karen had tons of fans, as well as over 140,000 followers on Instagram, the reality star lives a pretty low-key life. She explained her and Matt Roloff's usual routine on the show, saying, I think we kind of hang out in the morning. We have coffee. And then we both sort of spend the afternoon doing this project or that project solo. And it seems that despite the fame and criticism that comes from appearing on the show, Karen has her priorities straight. She revealed, I'm just focusing still on some of my own stuff that I still want to accomplish in my life. Fans will just have to watch and see what that stuff is for the reality star. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite reality show stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.